As a photographer and someone who cares about the future of our planet, I'm interested in all aspects of consumption. Both what we consume and what we throw away tell a story about our health and the health of the planet. In 2014, I struck on an idea that makes consumption, excess, and waste impossible to ignore. I asked family, friends, neighbors, friends of neighbors to save their garbage for one week then lay down and be photographed in it. And by extension, those who look at these pictures may stop and think about how much garbage they produce every week, and a conversation is started. I wanted my eight-year-old son to be aware that we're part of the problem too. Many of the people I photographed are making small changes in their consumption habits. The produce was in containers that we would have liked to not see in our garbage heap. So we started shopping a little bit more at local um, farmers markets in order to cut down on all that waste that was happening with the produce. I'm using toilet paper rolls, empty cereal boxes, and egg cartons for my kids' crafting projects. Our goal is to get to zero waste. Through Slate and Board Panda, I've reached over a million people. Last fall, I took the project to Toronto. The story was picked up by the Independent, Le Monde, Stern, Vanity Fair Italy, Newsweek Japan. In the process of photographing people's garbage, I began to look more deeply at food, what we're eating and what we're throwing away. There's a lot of talk about what we should and shouldn't be eating and a growing awareness about the harm of eating processed foods that are loaded with salt, fat, sugar, and empty carbs. But how much, if at all, are our diets changing? To address this, I've launched a follow-up project called Daily Bread. I've asked kids and parents to keep a detailed journal of everything they eat in a week. Once the week is up, I replicate the meals with a small army of food stylists and make a portrait of the child with the food laid out on a table. The process and the resulting pictures focuses our collective attention on an essential part of our lives and health. Through Daily Bread, I've connected with Dr. Maya Adam, a Stanford professor whose online course, Child Nutrition and Cooking, has drawn a quarter million students from around the world who are sharing recipes, contributing to an international community cookbook. I've reached out to some of these families and arranged to photograph them. My goal is to record the spectrum of diets eaten here in the U.S. and in other parts of the world. How does the diet of a child who lives in the foothills of the Himalayans differ from that of a child living in a Wisconsin suburb. The funds I raise will make it possible for me to continue shooting both seven days of garbage and daily bread overseas. The next step is to produce a book and traveling exhibition that is equal parts public health initiative, social commentary, and instant archeological record. But the work doesn't end with a book and a couple of exhibits. The deeper goal is to be a catalyst for change. The big picture is the growing grassroots community I'm a part of. It's about connecting, sharing information, learning from one another, and taking responsibility. Together, we'll stir the pot using ingredients that don't end up in a landfill. Together, we can move the needle on diet, consumption, and waste.